There's got to be at least a ringneck snake under one of these. Oh, there went a skink, I think. All right, be careful my fingers. So right now I'm out on a really rocky power line cut. You can see some big slabs of rocks behind me. It's pretty cold today. It's like 55 degrees, kind of windy, and there is some sun. I'm in a totally new area that I've never been before. And I'm just gonna poke around and see what I find. I'm hoping for something cool, but there's a really good chance I see absolutely nothing today. So let's just see what happens. All right guys, so first snakes of the day here. I'm not even sure how many there are, but there's a bunch. You can see coming out from this big slab of rock, there is at least two racers. Big ones, too. You can see they're right here. Whoa! Looks like it was three. Hard to say. It's pretty cold out as of now, so I wasn't expecting to see anything basking, but uh, it gives me hope in this habitat for seeing something. All right, well, I flipped that rock and got another snake on the day. This is a little ringneck snake. It's got lots of dotting on the belly. I'm not sure if in this area if they're southern or northern ringneck snakes. It's probably some sort of intergrade zone because I'm in the foothills of the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains. So, you know, new area for me. I'm not really entirely sure what to expect around here, but I'm gonna let this guy go. Let's go my finger. Come on. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I finally got to the top. And I flipped that rock. And got another very common snake. This is a worm snake. It's in shed. It's kind of cool because you can see the scalation a lot better. It almost looks like a carp or something. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of interesting. Cool seeing these guys like in montane ridge top habitat and that does sometimes happen when it's more xeric like it is here, but it's kind of neat. I'll let them go back under. Purple beetle. Oh, ring neck. There we go. Oh, this one's got a plain belly. First one had all those spots, this one's got nothing. Put his rock back and then let him go back under. All right, well I keep missing out on the flips, but I'm starting to rack up a couple snakes. This is a little juvenile black racer. So it's gonna turn completely dark and look like those big individuals that we saw earlier that were out basking. It was under a rock and uh, I'm just kind of whiffing on the flip clips today, <laughs> just because these rocks are so big and embedded. I could throw the GoPro on, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be here too much longer. All right, we're putting this guy back. Maybe he can kind of find his way under right here. There we go. Kind of, yeah, he's got it. All right, well, it looks like a storm is about to hit. Holy smokes. I'm gonna have to be done with the woods and cover and pick this thing up tomorrow. All right, I'm in the tree line and I'm headed downhill. It's gonna drop off and hopefully it's a little more sheltered down there. All right, so I came across this stream on the way back to the car and flipped this real big dusky salamander. I think it's either a spotted dusky or a seal salamander based off of where I am. It does have spots on it, on the back. It's like really, really hard to tell, but he is a big chunky fella and I guess I'm just gonna let him go. All right guys, after getting rained out yesterday, I've decided to try some new spots. So I'm out here hiking around and I just saw the first snake of the day. He could have disappeared on me. Where'd he go? There was a garter snake here. 
Huh. Okay, well I guess we're gonna keep hiking. All right, so I just got my garter snake redemption. Whoa, he's going this way. All right, <laughs> cool. All right, so just a little bit past the garter snake, I just noticed this big guy. Check this out. That's cool. Let's check it out, a pretty sizable eastern rat snake. In this area they would have been called black rat snakes at one time. But uh, he's being very passive, he's chilly. It's been cold the past couple days, so I was hoping to see snakes basking. And this guy decided to make an appearance, so I'm hoping for hognose snakes a little later, because that's one of my favorite species of snake. And to see a large bodied snake like this out basking right after our garter is a really good sign. All right, cool. I'm gonna put this guy back where he was. You can see he's about a four plus foot rat snake, but we'll leave him there and we're gonna keep hiking around. Good sign. So I looked down and look what I just spotted. That is a massive copperhead. Holy smokes, that's ridiculous. I might get a picture of it as is, but wow, I was not expecting that here. Man, what a large copperhead. It's kind of an aesthetically pleasing one too. You can see it's just out basking after those cold days, which makes me think I could have a really good day today. Just in a short string, all of a sudden I'm seeing tons and tons of snakes out and about. And this copperhead is just gargantuan. What's funny is how well camouflaged it is, but I saw it from like 10 yards away just basking out like this. I don't know why it stuck out to me so obviously, but it does blend in really well. So are copperheads dangerous? Not really, unless you step on them. All right, well, uh, we're gonna leave this big, beautiful snake alone, and uh, I'm gonna keep hiking around. All right, so the big copperhead is right there. But anyway, I just walked a couple feet over and noticed this really big snake skin right here. It's a rat snake shed, but it's draped all over the plants and stuff here. So it's either from that rat snake we just saw or another one, probably another one. We are definitely in the pocket in terms of basking snakes. That's a good view. Pretty cool. All right, today's quickly turning into a cool game of I Spy. Just check that out right there. Nice. Man, it's just a matter of time before we find a hog nose because it seems like every snake on the block is out and about hanging out pretty cool been seeing a lot of these but have had a hard time getting them on video that was just a water snake that disappeared so right next to this like uh, cell tower or whatever this thing is is a black racer just found a piece of tin Looks pretty good. Almost just stepped on this box turtle. It looks like both of his eyes are shut and kind of swollen, so I'm just gonna leave him as is. Uh, there's concern that that is uh, ronavirus or, or some other ailment, so uh, for obvious reasons, I'm leaving him alone. Hope he makes it out okay. There's an old tent in the woods here. I just found a brown snake in it. I'm gonna flip the rest of this. It looks like a old homeless camp, uh, but clearly there's no one living here anymore. So I'm gonna 
see what else I can find in it. Put this guy over here for now. We're near a pretty busy road, but I just spotted another rat snake on the day. We might come and check him out because it's been a couple minutes since we've seen a snake. And yeah, this is a nice one too. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice big rat snake. Healthy individual. It looked at first like it was in shed, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm gonna put them back on this brush pile and keep hiking around. All right, well, it's like 5 p.m. and uh, maybe 65 degrees, but I think I'm gonna be done hiking for the day. I've kind of covered a lot of ground and I've seen tons and tons of snakes mostly common snakes that giant copperhead was cool but I think what I'm gonna do now is head north and flip along the way hopefully stop at some roadside junk things like that see if I can't turn up a couple more snakes all right I'm on the way home but <clears throat> found some roadside crap holy smokes I don't know what that is but it's not possible to lift it Maybe we'll check some of this stuff out. Man, that should add a snake. Ugh. All right, that's gonna be it for today. So you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video.